Hey, welcome back to Adventures in Demon Souls. We just finished taking out the Storm King boss and getting uh, the Cursed Sword Makoto, or I suppose Hello again. it's called the Magic Makoto. Close watching your uh, we're just going to go over here and we'll drop some stuff off, or rather, uh, I suppose, do some inventory management. Uh, let's see. We can just take a couple of these, and a couple of these. We're going to drop these off. Uh, they're basically too weak to really be useful. And we're going to drop these off. And then we are also going to drop up our sword. We also found the storm ruler, which is pretty sweet, but we don't have much use for it. And... Yeah, that's basically it. So we're gonna head to the Swamp of Sorrow and wrap some stuff up real quick. So the first thing oop, that we're gonna do, I am hitting the wrong rings. Uh, we are going to equip our Sodden Ring, which we got from the Swamp in Upper Latria in Pure Black World Tendency. And this makes it so we can actually move around in the Swamp without getting just wrecked. Um, which will be very handy, because now we can basically just kite any enemy that we want. And I've been here twice in fractured mode because I died a little bit uh, so my brain is actually already switched this oh jeez not cool man not cool uh, okay I was like what happened to my healing items Oh, we do have some of the water, though, so that's good. We can switch this out, actually. Yeah. And especially when we're doing any sort of kiting, actually, the, uh, the mana over time is better than having any of the mana pots, because you can cast it and then you can actually uh, and then you can start uh, moving around so we're gonna run out here and I'm just gonna cast this now we don't need it quite yet but it will be handy uh, and we're just kind of on the lookout for the black phantom. There she is. Um, okay. So we're going to get warding on. I'm actually just going to see if we can start out with a soul ray or two. Just kidding. Oh yeah, with the sodden ring and all of this magic. I mean, enemies become oh, quite easy at this point. And so we're just going to go over here and kind of loot these parts of the thing. We have a cat ring. Sure would have been nice to have before, but we'll take a quick look since we are here. Uh, I believe the cat ring is fall damage. Yeah, decrease damage from the falls. Looks pretty cool. Just has a little cat on it. Uh, you cannot expect a mirror ring to protect your life against drops from too great a height. So, it does something, but you can definitely still die.
pure sucker stone. Let's uh, upgrade the maps for, I don't know, is it life bleed or something? Life train? black pine resin. This was in the part of this level where they were trying to make it pretty abundantly clear that you should be uh, using fire. And so now that we have the sun ring, I mean even these big guys that caused us quite a bit of trouble before are just really not an issue at all. I did miss something out there, so we'll go back to that. It's probably not terribly important, but... We are... I mean, not really completionists, but... Maybe. We could be. You could be completionist. Just for one day. Has an interesting ring. Um, and this kind of sucks because we're actually about halfway. Exactly halfway from where we want to be. Uh, so I'm actually just going to... Uh, this is okay though. Once we are on this side... We can actually just drop down here and go running in the swamp. Oh, actually, I did want to be here. Just kidding. Why? You are one of the sane ones, are you not? I am. I am Selen of the West. Hello? I seek my oh. Brother, oh, hell no. Sorry, hold on a sec, lady. Why? I am Selen. I seek my brother, Gal Vinland, the knight who accompanied Saint Astraea on her travels. Saint Astraea? I believe they settled here. Huh. If you happen to see my younger brother, please tell me. I must share with him the last words of our father. Um, yeah, so Selen of the West, and she's talking about her brother, Garl Vinland and Saint Astraea, and we've actually heard Saint Astraea mentioned before by Sage Freak, who claimed that, uh, I think the line was, uh, just because they became demons doesn't mean they stopped being human. And so, um, yeah, Maiden Astraea is actually the archdemon of this world. I heard an unflattering rumor about Saint Astraea. It was that herb peddler. She believes that Astraea is herself a well, demon. Oops, spoilers. She has no reason to lie. But surely she must be mistaken. I find something odd about this place. It brims with grime. But at once feels strangely pure. I find something odd about this place. Yeah, and so she she notes there that uh, yeah, she said it brims with grime, but also feels strangely pure. And uh, let's see. Do, do, do. talk with that lady one more time. So we basically looted everything here, um, which is a very nice feeling for a place that is like quite uninhabiting, uninhabitable. What's the word? Yeah. Uh, when you first come here, it's nice to feel like. Oh. 
Well, I I cast the wrong one, so we're just gonna have to go. We'll just go through these guys. Yeah, and as you can see, I mean, they're really just not that dangerous at all. I mean, they are kind of when they punch you in the face, but who hasn't been punched in the face once or twice, right? Alright, so we're just going to go on up here, and I just want to actually go and talk with the filthy woman one more time. Please buy more for the poor child. This place... It's a proper heap of rubbish. All the rot of the world, living or not, ends up here. My boy doesn't want for anything. Hmm. Ever since that demoness came here, everything has turned foul. Yeah, and so she... Was a much better place before she came. I was the apple of every man's eye. Oh, I you see. You rid us of her, aren't you? <laughs> well, don't show her any more. My boy want for anything. Nothing for you. You wretched penny pincher. Just let the children. Alright, alright, luck lady. I'll buy something. What do you got? I think I have most of this. Male stuff's kind of interesting. And this is kind of interesting too. She sells one of these for 30,000. Like, I have some souls and I can't even buy this thing. Um... Damn, that's pretty frickin' cool looking. Nailed. Oh, I can't even buy this whole set, dude. Dude, your stuff's too much. No. Oh, I'm a wretched penny pincher? Dude, screw this shit. I. do not like, okay. I can climb back up here. Shortcuts. Ow. Ah, oh, damn it, I followed him. I am not always great at this game. That's okay. Just get out. Ugh. Two-handing carves through people. Oh my gosh. Just trying to get out of here with my souls, dude. And we can actually just go this way. To the boss. Well, I guess this is actually to the boss. Uh, we'll just touch the archstone to to get our stuff back, and then we will head to the boss. Um, yeah, we've basically done everything there is to do here.
How the heck? All right. Congratulations, Mbasa, dude. Cool. This is kind of disorienting, but if only I had some friends. Well, you can't. So you kind of see there's all these people that have come to try to kill Maid Mistraya. And, I mean, now we join that that group. Forth, and Gavi. this is freaking Garl Vinland, dude. And so it, this is actually pretty interesting just because... Leave us. Uh, Yeah, I mean, this whole thing is actually, like, a pretty sad, uh, story. Basically, like, she came here to help people. And, uh, you know, and seeing how terrible of lives they lived, she is basically here to try to suck up the poison of this world. Um, I... Now I can't remember her name, but, uh, uh, basically Garl Vinland's, uh, sister, you know, is saying that, uh, where is he? Garl, where are you, dude? Oh, jeez. Is that the thing that's like no magic casting? What if I just kind of... Ah, got you. I don't even think it's doing any damage. I think that it's doing zero damage. Oh, jeez. Sorry, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Get the heck out of here. Oh, what the heck? Uh... What the heck? Oh, 
I see. I actually need to have... Uh, I mean, it said poisoned, but uh, that was definitely the plague. I got the plague. <laughs> okay. All right, bunny. Oh my gosh. Ow. Okay. Maybe if I actually... Okay, this is ridiculous, but I literally can't see him through my frickin' hat. Uh... Uh, how do I turn that off? Yeah. I just cannot see the cat, or I cannot see his, his move. Oh, and I should really make sure that I have warding on. And this is basically the fight. You just, uh, parry him a few times. My buddy Garl. I failed you. And so that's really it for this fight. Um, I can get, get plagued here, but I can heal that. And then uh, I should hang out and take a couple of pictures here. And then we will talk with the uh, main Astraya, and I will shut up for a second. So. Nope. And we will just talk to her. You killed him, didn't you? Very well. I can no longer resist you. Do as you like. Take your precious demon soul. Yeah. <laughs> and that is it. Uh, Maiden Astraya and Garl Vinland uh, have been vanquished. If you can really call it that, but yep, I know, I know, we're plagued. Alright. And we're actually going to go back and talk to Stockpile Thomas. Because... I think... Oh, you know what? Never mind. We we'll have to you. do that in the future. Cool. So we'll just go and talk with uh, the Maiden in Black. And uh, as before, we're just pump and magic, and that will be that. This has been Adventures in Demon Souls. Uh, Garl Vinland and Maiden Astraya have been vanquished, quite sadly, and uh, yeah, we will catch you next time. See ya.